Hello again music fans, I'm back here for another Artist Spotlight video, this time for the excellent, excellent uh, American heavy metal band uh, Sabotage. You know, they have had, you know, really evolved their sound over the years, and as of right now the band it just kind of does and does not exist, you know, they get together only for, for some special occasions, because they have been, basically the, the, the band has transformed into what is now called trans Siberian Orchestra, but that's another story. All right, so let's start with the sabotage here. With I do not have their first album, which is Sirens, but let's start here with their second, which is The Dungeons Are Calling, which I have on cassette and on CD, which I'll show right now. I took out the the cassette from the box so you could get a better look at the cover. That's the way it was originally uh, shown the cover. And I have here this uh, um, silver anniversary silver anniversary edition of The Dungeons Are Calling, with of course some bonus tracks. Couple of bonus tracks. Really great, uh, early sounding heavy metal. You know, really raw. Great stuff here. The Dungeons Are Calling, and then an absolute classic metal album with one of my favorite metal songs of all time, which is uh, "Power of the Night." All right, "Power of the Night," great song. Also, this one also includes includes a, a bonus track here, which is a live version of of. Um, uh, Power of the Night and Sirens. All right, so we have Power of the Night, really great album, which I'm glad to have also on vinyl. And this was in fact the first vinyl I ever, well, the first album I ever bought from Sabotage. Okay, Power of the Night. Have this since back in the day. It's still in pretty good condition. A little bit of ring wear, you know, but all in all, pretty good. Right, a great cover. The fist going through the glass. All right then. After this, we have uh, another cassette, which is Fight for the Rock. Yes, Fight for the Rock. Some more great American heavy metal, as you can see by the cover. All right. Like I said, I took out the boxes so you could see the because they were really dirty. I washed them so, but so you could see the the cover better. There we go. And after this, we have the where they really started to evolve their sound, you know, to something a little bit more, uh, shall we say, power metal type, uh, symphonic metal. Not yet symphonic, you know, but kind of leaning that, that way. Uh, with The Hall of the Mountain King, really great album. Still has some of the rawness that we heard in, in uh, The Dungeons and Crawling, right? Right there, Legion, Strange Wings. Um, Hall of the Mountain King, of course, is an epic track. Right there is the band. Coming out of that, that that chalice right there, pretty cool. Great cover, and this one is still like this one. I, I also have it since way back in the day, and it's still in pretty good condition. All right then. Now let's go with another cassette here, a gutter ballet. Again, experimenting more with their, with the uh, more power metal. You know, getting into the concept albums uh, uh, situation. Got a ballet, great album. They've never made out a bad album, in my opinion. You know, here we have Edge of Thorns, great stuff. Still keeping the heaviness, you know, which I also have on CD here. Edge of Thorns. You know, the ones I have on a cassette, I really have to upgrade to, to CD or vinyl if if possible. There's the band back then. They have had some lineup changes. Edge of Thorns. Then here we have. Um, let me take it out of the box so you can get the cover better. Here, a uh, handful of rain. I'm covering the title, handful of rain. Really epic stuff here. Uh, Taunting Cobras, great, great uh, uh, track. Handful of rain, the title track also. Pretty cool. Here we, they really went more into the power metal. You know, left a, a bit of the rawness behind, but still, like I say, great stuff. And here with Dead Winter Dead on cassette as well is when they really did start to evolve their sound into that uh, symphonic metal, you know, which would be the basis for the future Transurb Siberian Orchestra. Now, this is a concept album. There you go. Dead Winter Dead. Then we have here a live album, which is... Um, a ghost in the in the in the ruins, 
a tribute to Chris Oliva, who passed away. Uh, 13 live tracks, really great. From the uh, late 80s and the very early 90s. Ghost in the Ruins. Then we have here another concept album, which is really, really good. Here's uh, The Wake of Magellan. Really complex uh, arrangement. You know, you could almost call this progressive metal. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink there. Cheers, vinyl community. Okay. And, you know, almost progressive metal here. Well, not almost. It is progressive metal because the arrangements are really, really good. Last, and it, this is indeed their last studio album, As Sabotage, which is Poets and Madmen. Heavy stuff, you know, power metal stuff. Great tracks. All right, well, that's it here for my Sabotage collection. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, Artist Spotlight videos right now. Thank you very much for watching, and so long.